Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Voice of the Cause, the Isles Dragon Royce. Oh, yeah. Well, we left off. Well, we did a lot of shit. Basically, we pulled out a fire, my girl, boys. My girl and boys. We pulled out a fire for the Wood Elf. And now we're going to see basically what the hell is going to happen next. Ah, as always, I do hope y'all enjoy. Sit back and relax and let me, Mr. Jack, do all the rest. And so it begins. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, I forgot what they wanted me to do. Next objective. Speak with her in the house. Okay, yeah, I got you. Damn, last time this house was burned. I'm surprised I was, you know, still good. Though spared from complete collapse, Riddus's home has been thoroughly scorched. Damn. I could tell. Riddus sits alone in one of its rooms, the air thick with the smell of char. There shouldn't be any fire creatures for miles, she grumbles. She says the monster appeared while she was playing the woodland flute last night. As to why any monsters, let alone fire monsters, appeared, well, despite the circumstances, you ask Riddus to lead you out of the bewildering wood as promised. I did promise that, didn't I? She says wearily, rising from her seat. The poor girl is clearly still in shock. Why do you want to venture out beyond the bewildering wood anyway? She inquires, as she gathers this and that in preparation to leave. I still don't know how to look at the calls a little bit more. We're looking for a dragon. Like, I'm trying to, like, remember what it was. I'm going to look it up really quick, because I forgot. Let me see. Oh wait, I forgot they don't show me that shit. Okay, we're looking for a dragon. We are in search of the dragon. Yeah. You say valiantly, adding, the reward will be significant should we defeat him. Honesty is the best policy. Indeed. Sounds like a real risky way to make a living. It she is. Replies flatly, feigning interest. A group of Ivory Order people came through here just the other day, she explains. I see. You connect the dots with malice. Those three, you seethe. At last, Riddus is ready to depart for the edge of the bewildering wood. Oh, yeah! Oh, cool! She joined me! A maximum of three characters can participate in battle. Select party from the setup menu to form your battle. Oh shit, wait, what? Uh, I like the team that I have at the moment, so I'm chilling with them. Depart from the eastern side of the woodlands and make your way through the Billy Wilden woods. Before we go, let's check the mom one more time. Riddus's mother tells you she was once deceived by a crooked merchant and plunged into debt. Damn. Riddus has been working to repay the debt ever since her mother took ill. You lightly press your thumb and forefinger to the corner of each eye, a mixture of sadness and anger swirling within you. Yo, 
You fulfill the necessary requirements and unlock the mother flip story. Oh yeah, I definitely want to read that. I'm surprised she's not next to her. Either, either through bad luck or too trusting a heart, Vidya's mother has endured no sorts of hardship despite living in secluded woodlands. You might think that, I mean, you might think the repeated swelling would get her down, but that would require that she realize she's been defrauded. Park's ignorance really is bliss. Yeah, I guess so. I guess. I mean, let's be honest here. Yeah. Alright, let's leave. Okay. Wait, didn't they have a tutorial? I just realized I could check it right there. I guess not. Oh well. We'll wing it. This road takes you to the east side of the bewildering wood. But you'd be hard pressed to find your way without a woodlander's help, the guard warns. Upon seeing that Riddus is with you, he steps aside and lets you through. That's it? That was easy. The eastern portion of the woods certainly does not want for thick, soupy fog. Your ability, your ability to manipulate the camera has been restricted, my boys. Damn, okay. Turn away, ready to lead the party deeper into the bewildering wood. Grandpa! Wait just a moment, you lot, calls the voice of an older man from somewhere behind you. Riddus appears to be familiar with him. She calls him Mr. O. Here you are, young lady, he says, handing her a slip of paper. Invoice for rental property damage and repair total in one million gold. Excuse me? Oh dear. Further, Mr. O explains, Riddus did not have a fire insurance policy at the time of the conflagration, and so she shall have to pay in full. I'll thank you kindly to pay by the end of the month. By now, Mr. O says, receding from view as he returns to the forest. Hee <laughs> hee. Riddus lets out a bemused chuckle, her demeanor remarkably calm for what has just transpired. She pulls the woodland flute from her cloak and begins softly playing. Holy shit, that's horrifying! Riddus's ear-splitting performance, shall we say, draws monsters out from behind the trees. Within moments, they are nearly upon you. Okay, well, that's not horrifying now, huh, man? Let's do this. Oh, one health? Seriously? Well, I'm gonna kill this guy really quick. Let's see here. Body slam, I guess? Six. Nice. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the scratch.
That's odd. I must have made a mistake, Ridis says, burying her face in her old book once more. What do you ask her? She opens the book to a particular page and thrusts it in your face. You can't tell anyone in the village I let you see this, okay? Very well. It's a page of sheet music with a note scrawled beside it that reads, Play this lucky tune to reverse your financial fortunes and make money woes a thing of the past. No matter how many times I played this last night, our debt never went down, she fumes, incensed. You inspect the page a bit more carefully. Off in a corner, in letters so small as to be illegible, another message reads, May summon monsters if played incorrectly. You finally see that so long as Riddus holds the flute, this is nothing more than a monster conjuring melody. You snatch the woodland flute from her hands. You have lost your flute playing privileges, you inform her. But I'll never escape from this mountain of debt without it, she cries, clearly still believing in the melody of fortune. Melanie quietly opines that while Riddus is many things, Bright is not one of them. Well, I wouldn't know about that. I mean, she just want to get rid of her debt. There's nothing wrong with that. Event. You hear a beautiful melody. I know, delay as hell. Floating from the forest depths. It sounds like someone singing or perhaps a bird song. As you listen closely, you are struck by a sudden dizzy spell. You sense a presence growing close. The grass rustles. Then a monster slowly shows itself from between How dare you! Realizing you've been caught in the harpy's trap, you ready your weapons. Holy shit, that's a that's a new one. All right, let's get an eight. That works too. Congrats. They seem to like to talk to him a lot. For some time after that, you find yourself trembling at the mere sound of a bird's tweet. He got traumatized. Another enemy, bring it on. I give me two six. I guess that was too much to ask for, huh? Alright, let's do Thunderbolt then. Let's go six. Nice. It was resistance to it, but at least we Congrats. kill it. So I guess it's not that bad. Hold up, can we um put that up? Put that on. Oh, 
Oh, we can't use it for him. Probably he could use it. He could. There you go. I did not know we could find armor and... Well, I did not know we could find armor. I don't know if we could find weapons and chests. But for now, I did not know we could find armor. Ah, we have to deal with mushrooms. Bitch. Oh shit. Two. Oh shit. Alright, your turn, my boy. Get them both. That works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's definitely gonna kill y'all now. He's fine. Down, 14 damage. He's down to do a lot of damage. I sense that we're gonna level up soon. If everything goes well, we're gonna level up soon. Enemy has appeal. Don't hold back. I don't plan on it. See? I told him. Okay, he's immune to lightning, so I'm not going to do that. While you can't get the criticals when I need you to, but when there's one that is super weak, then you get the critical? It's like, down, my boys, really? Really, you gonna do me like that? Here, Ritus chirps, pushing overgrown boughs and shrubs aside. As she does, a hidden path out of the bewildering wood comes into view. Leave the confinement of the building woods? No, not yet. We still have a lot of places to search over here. And I'm one who loves to search, let's be honest here. I mean, you never know what you could find. Like slimes, for instance. I was beautiful, man. You kill him one hit. Okay, let's go for six. Eight, okay. Wow, it was so close in killing him. That one damage scales the hell out of me. Here we go. Deal attack four times, both damage to every enemy, man. Cool. And now we need a little bit more orbs to use that. Each character in your party can set up four types of skills. Open the menu and select setup and then skills to choose and set the skills your party members can use. Set up your skills, why not? Hmm. There we go. Yeah, that sounds about good. 
We're not going to really attack with her, so... Ah, oh, cool. I found an oil pot. Well, I appreciate it. Event. Oh. What will I do? Well, I will go find the single because one, the last time we heard it, she kicked my. Well, she didn't kick my ass, but she kind of like did something to me. The other last time in the last episode, she heals me all the way. But I'm about to find As her. Drawn in by the voice, you head deeper into the forest, where you find a woman playing a stringed instrument. Why won't the right words come to me? She laments, her fingers stopping on the strings. Hearing her sigh, you offer to help her with her song. Very well then. Please finish this verse. She oh responds, God! Then begins to sing. In the snow-covered town, I hear a voice. How do you continue the song? Oi, oi! In the snow-covered town, I hear a voice. Oi, oi! Koi! It's freaking cold. Isn't there a way where I could just try to look you at it? shout the words in a loud voice. The woman's mouth hangs open wide. The words are so plain, perhaps overly so, which is precisely why they pierce the heart, she says, your cheap words somehow resonating with her. She entreats you to let her use your lyrics, imagining the royalties happily agree oh cool I got it right I'll take it mm hmm yes I'll take that we haven't died yet but I don't trust that and having some health will come handy let's get rid of the slime first that way we could just deal with that whatever that is when oh spicy Not sure if lightning is a good idea. I think they kind of immune to lightning. I can't tell, but I'm gonna test it. Six, here we go. Okay, I guess not bad. Oh, there we go. Hey, we level up. Good. Well, now that we search everywhere, it's time to get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's one thing that I like doing. I love searching everywhere. You are free of the bewildering wood. Praise the power of the woodlanders, you squeal in admiration of Riddus. She giggles bashfully. You've certainly kept your promise, you say. Thank you for showing us the way. I was hoping I could join you on your quest to defeat the dragon, Riddus suddenly blurts out. I mean... Why do you want to go? Wait, tugging on the call event so slightly may reveal. I've been trying to do that. Oh, and now it lets me. 
It's the one with the arrows. Okay. Wait, why am I debating about it? I don't want to say the other one. I'm going to say this one. She takes out her old book and thrusts another page in your face. This week's creature of fortune is the dragon. Booms may befall those who encounter him. Melanie's jaw goes slack. What is the deal with this book? Melanie asks, bewildered. I can uh, probably that's a good point. pay off my debt if we can just defeat the dragon, Riddish chirps, revealing her true intentions. No, I won't dilute my share of the riches any further. No more additions to the party, you bark. Have you no heart? Are you just going to leave a young, helpless girl like me to drown in an ocean of dead and deal with that crusty old man? Riddus fires back relentlessly. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I like the game, but my character, he's a bitch. I'm sorry. I gotta say it. I do like the game a lot, but this guy is taking me the fuck off. I wanna go. No. So goes the endless chorus of your thoroughly unproductive argument. Melanie calmly reminds you that the party, in its current form, stands little chance of defeating the dragon. See? You need me, Riddus says, sensing an opportunity. Your well-reasoned argument of no thwarted. You nod your head in resignation and welcome Riddus to the party. Sky man in the sky. Where is he? Join your party. Cool, so she legit joined us now. We could make an option where to switch someone out. Oh. Oh, another chapter? The mystery of the forest solved our, our hero's, hero's journey, journey into, into onwards. onwards. There they met a girl, cut herself a woodland. She lays, she lays them to her home, home nested, nested deep inside, inside the bewildering woods. woods. A home, a home that, that soon burns in an unimaginable tragedy. tragedy. A, home a home she did she not own, leaving her, home, you know, you know in debt. Determined, determined to pay her way to freedom, freedom. She, joined she joined our heroes to fail the dragon. 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 She embraced her new compatriots and leave the wood behind. Slime monsters! Their next, Their next stop, stop, a curious a village, village where monster and humankind coexist. Chapter, Chapter three, three, Union, Union Valley. Valley. Oh, this is so fucking nice. Oh, it's so good. Head east to the city. You mean after I explore though? After. Am I going east? I feel like I am. What kind of enemies are here, though? That's my question. Oh! What sweet hell is this burning? It hit me! Let's use Thunderbolt on him. Six. Two, okay, we kill it. I could dream. Well, I say, how rude. Y'all still not dead? Oh, shit. Let's go for that one. Mm. Critical healing. Oh shit! Thanks. All right, slap him. Nice. Oh, she level ups too? Cool. Let 
I'm gonna check if he has that equip though. No, he doesn't. He only has RAM. I'm gonna take this one out and put this one there. Uh, okay, let me go. Looks like you're out of room. Good thing somebody's dying so we could use a potion. Good. I'm not leaving the revival potions. I'm sorry, but no way. Hello. Who are you? Clad knight stands, exuding an extraordinarily powerful aura. The knight faces you and asks, might you be challengers? But after sizing you up for a long moment, his shoulders slump and he mutters, no, you are not yet ready. Grow strong, young ones, he says, then returns to standing in silence. It appears ah. he awaits a stalwart warrior to challenge him. He must be strong then. The fact that he doesn't even want to fight us? Oh yeah. Thunder roars overhead. Watch out for lightning. Five. Four? Nice. You and your friends are lucky enough to make it through without being struck by lightning once. I'm just trying to explore. And fight. Okay, we're gonna go. Oops, I did not mean to do that. We're gonna go for 10. 10. I told you. Nice work. Twenty nine damage? Holy crap! That's not bad. Nope. Enemy appeal in the sidewalk. the enemy let's go for 10 again two okay I still a lot of diamond shows so I'll take it Okay, let's continue. Avent! The wind picks up speed. A tornado is forming. Okay, let's go five. Riddis stands there gaping for one second too long and gets swept up in the tornado. It spins her round and round until she can hardly see straight. How dare you?
You know, I just realized I haven't saved in a minute. I'm gonna save. There we go. Alright, let's continue. At least all the enemies are the same. Six. Let's try this one. You did a bad mistake doing that. But I'll take your point of view, though. That was lucky. All right, let's go for seven. Three. All right, it's gone. Oh my god, this thing has more life than anything. Are you kidding me? I was about to say, really? Ah, oh, cool. Let's see the story. These slimes have learned how to wield human weaponry. Most of all who have taken them lightly have paid with their life. Well learned to wield is perhaps overstating things. They still primarily attack by ramming their gooey body into their enemies. But now they do so by bashing in a sword. Well, well ba yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it really does make sense that they'll do it like that then. Nice. So while they froze, they do more damage, I assume. I'm surprised we haven't found any caves. And fight. I see if we can freeze again. Let's go for ten. Ten. Two.
Well, hopefully she could burn it all away. I can't do anything because it's not going to hit him. The lightning is not that strong for him. Alright, now it should die. I appreciate you do the critical now. Mm. We're gonna continue going right. You come across two men sitting on a rock. They take no notice of you or the party, but you can hear their fervent discussion. You listen in and deduce that they are a pair of thieves. You lean in, trying to hear what else the thieves are talking about. You catch pieces of the conversation here and there. Listen about that loot. Head south from the harbor and cross the mountains. It sounds like they've just told you where to find their stolen loot. You hastily grab a scrap of paper, write down what you've heard, and quietly sneak away. Nice, good boy. Well, there's a town. Why, hello there, you're new. I guess that makes sense, huh? So lightning is your weakness then. Six. Now. Hi, let's burn it. That's more like it, my girl. That's more like it. Once again, I definitely feel like we're getting closer to a level. That's another town. Look, you two, it's the sea. Riddus exclaims, frolicking in glee. You, on the other hand, trudge along as far as you can from the coast, ignoring the hair sticking to your forehead. Come on! Feeling something at your feet, you glance down. There's something underneath your boot. It appears you've stepped on a monster's cape, making it very upset. It attacks you in fury. Well then, why do you do that? Oh, oh my god. Okay, what is this one? A uh, three to bolt damage dealt by all allies and enemies. Cool. Ten. Good. Okay, let me see here. Cool. 
critical. Like a dream. God, he's cracking. Go for it, my girl. Nice! I would teach you. Congrats. Wow, if we don't level up from that, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say! Give me that level! Appreciate you. Well then, might as well use some of our items that we have. Because we do have a lot, so. Wait. Oh, shit, we level up because, oh, shit, we good, we good, okay. Still explore. How big is this area? Damn. Quite big. Mm -hmm. Event. Thunder Ruin. Six. Oh no, I got four. <clears throat> My voice cracked shit. Boy, yeah, it's four. You and your friends are lucky enough to make it through. Ooh, that's a big one. Let's try to freeze it. Give me 10. Damn, it was so close. 16 damage though, it's not bad. Let's turn the strike it. Six. Shit. That's still good damage though. We took out the one that would deal a lot of damage. Now we just have him. Well, who am I to deny? Well, he flew. We still pretty good. He level up again, nice. Event as well. I pick up a scrap of paper dropped by some manner of monster. It has a message scrawled on it in crude lettering. Uh, yeah. Clearly, whoever dropped this message did not want to forget where the stolen treasure is hidden. Stash the scrap of paper in your pack and resolve to keep an eye out for the treasure on your travels. Well, of course, we're gonna find a treasure, it's just a matter of time. We are exploring everywhere. Enter the musty tower? No, I'm not entering anything before I explore. Event! Now what? Something comes rocketing down from the mountaintop. There and gone in a flash. What was that? I don't know. What came rocketing down the mountain? A monster. Your friends insist it was probably just a rock. But you're convinced it was a monster. And you can prove it. What? The rock, 
adroitly avoids crashing into anything as it falls. Only monsters can move like that. Your friends breathe a sigh of relief as the monster hurdles ever farther away. Hey, I got it right. Makes sense, though. Nice. I'm gonna need that money, man, because the moment we get back into the town... Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay, even more interesting. About the enemy. If you insist... Okay, you could do this. Six. You really like this fucking one, right? Ah, <sighs> Lord. He really like it. I can't help it. He really like the one. This bastard's man, they're evil. Evil, I say evil! There you go, enjoy. Still nice alive though, but you know. Nice, you missed. Good. <clears throat> Even more defense. This guy with the fucking one man. He did it right in front of her face. You saw that, right? He just went up to her and do it. Might as well. I mean, he's over there healing. Okay, we're gonna try to freeze it again. No, you know what? Let's just use the flame. I can't do anything. Oh man. Well, let's just try Thunderbolt. Six. It wouldn't have mattered because the other one does the same. Just what I needed. Nice. Alright guys, for now this will have to be it unfortunately. I hope y'all enjoy as much as I did. Oh wait, let's read that first. Hang on. Hang on. I believe it was you, yeah? Tyrants are the tender loving elders of the forest, well versed in the law of nature, yet like honestly. Intern rent 
That was staying in only one forest long, enough to put down the roots. When the tiny cars pass on their travels, they each break off a branch to grip onto the other. Thus out the memories in the rings of each branch passes down. Cool. Alright guys, for now this will have to be it unfortunately. I do hope you all enjoy as much as I did. And I do hope each and every one of you have a lovely night or day depending on where you are. And remember guys, I will see you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>